I am having my sleep study done. And it's kind of like a hotel room. There's like a pretty nice bathroom, except this toilet is automatic, which is really freaky. And that looks pretty normal. You know, like there's a little painting, a TV, a chair, a bed. You know, it looks pretty average, and then things get weird. Like this, and that, and that. And all that stuff. So they're gonna put all these wires on me. Again. <laughs> all right. They've got me all rigged up. I don't even know. There's so much stuff here. Okay, one, two, 41 electrodes. Not so bad. Um, I've got a whole bunch on my head. And then these straps measure my breathing. And then I've got an electrode somewhere on my belly underneath this. And then I have them on my legs. That side, and that side. So much fun. And they're also gonna have like this little finger monitor on me. It's, uh, they're gonna bring another one later and attach it to these things. And then I've got that panic button that I can push if I need to get up and go to the bathroom or whatever. There's a flashlight. It's all connected to all this stuff in here. And the bed is pretty comfy, you know, it is what it is. And uh, earlier they tried to stick this tube in my nose, like, and then back down the back of my throat into my esophagus. And it took a few tries to get it in my nose, and then, um, it was like getting bloody because it was just not going down into my throat. They finally got it into my throat and then they give you like a cup of water with a straw, like this deal. And they have you drink from it while they're sticking the tube down your throat and it's supposed to go into your esophagus. You're supposed to like swallow the tube. So I was like swallowing this tube. Oh, it's like here in the garbage can. It's gross. Um, they were shoving this thing in my face and uh, we got it into my esophagus and I stopped drinking the water like I took a few big gulps to try and like make it not feel horrible and it didn't stop feeling horrible and then I kind of panicked because um, when I stopped drinking I could feel it like there was something caught in my throat and I started coughing and then when I started coughing I almost puked and uh, then they gave up, because <laughs> that's not happening. But they, you know, they've got these things to measure my breathing that way, so that should be enough. I don't know. Um, I've done a few of these before, never with like the thing in my esophagus, and apparently I never will, because I just can't tolerate it. Um, yeah, I don't know how anyone can sleep. Apparently some people tolerate it fairly well, and others don't. And I'm one of those people, but yeah, it's really not happening. I feel really bad because I think like one of the main reasons I'm doing this study is because my doctor wanted to get the extra information from the tube thing. Nope, 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 nope. Even if I could like not puke it up, I would be coughing it up all night and it's just bad enough having all this stuff on me, honestly. So it is like 9.45 and I usually go to bed around midnight, but I'm going to try and go to sleep around 11. I didn't take a nap today. I didn't have any caffeine. So hopefully that helps. Well, it's morning, and I barely slept last night. I feel awful. <sighs> I probably woke up like seven or eight times last night. And then on top of that, um, 
they had to like come in and adjust some sensors a couple times and I just have the stuff on my head now and uh, the one um, EKG monitor and they took off the ones that were on my legs and my stomach and I think in the next um, hour I should find out if I have to do the uh, sleep multiple sleep latency test where basically they uh, have me try and nap every two hours but I don't know yet um, what the test results from last night were and everything just kind of depends on that so I had some breakfast they brought me oatmeal and I'm trying not to fall asleep mm. the tech just woke me up for my second nap they had me take a nap at 9 and then they had me take one at 11 and they let you sleep for 15 to 30 minutes um, and they just measure how long it takes you to fall asleep and that kind of thing so now it's lunch time they brought me <laughs> this lunch looks pretty good there's a salad there's a smoothie some chips uh, this is information about the multiple sleep latency test patient number 15 so basically two naps down three to go to be here all day and then of course it's just like when you start to sleep is like right when they wake you up and it just feels like you want to sleep all day. <sighs> okay. Look right now with that in your head, just your eyes. Look right. Look left. Look right. Look left. Okay, now if you can look up, look down, look up and look down. Great. Blink your eyes five times. Alright, big smile please. Okay, and then uh, keep your eyes closed. I'll tell you until then. All right. Okay, you are all set. Um, all right. Um, just you can go ahead and close your eyes and relax. I'll come in once the uh, time to take a nap is over. And he came in and took all the stuff off my head, and my hair is all greasy with this stuff that smells like orange glow cleaner and I'm like missing skin all over the place and I have all this adhesive and goo in my hair so I'm looking pretty rough. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup and get the hell out of here.